Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I just wanted a very quick video. We did an article recently that said there's lots and lots of VO artists, voiceover artists, and uh, people recording speech now using Studio One. I want to show you a quick trick, which is where we can do automatic ducking. Now, if you've done any work in radio, then you'll know that they have automatic ducking on the microphones, and what that does is that basically, as you speak, any beds, any audio uh, of music and stuff behind it drops automatically. Now, when you do VO, sometimes you may have a bed behind it, and there are, there are two ways you could do this. You could either automate the fader so the music came in and out automatically with a fader, and that's possible. Or you can do what I'm about to show you, which is automatically ducking. And what that means is that we can then, uh, every time the speech starts, the music drops. So let me show you it in action first, and I'll show you how you get it set up. It's a very straightforward process. So let's play this. Thank you. Right, don't forget to check out the six UAD plugins I use all the time and are worth checking out. Is my latest article about UAD plugins. It's also got lots of comments by other people who have their favourites. So how's that done? It's done in a very straightforward fashion. Here's the music bed and what I've got on there is the standard compressor that comes with it. And then what I'm doing is I'm using side chaining. So I'm sending a send from the, the voice server. It's not a very good voice server. I've just got a bit of podcast that was recording. It's not being cleaned up or anything really. So I've now removed that. Let me add it back in again. So if you, the minute you put something like a compressor on which uses a side chain, if you come down in this list of sends, you'll see side chain and you put that in. And there we go. And it's added now. Now when we go to the compressor limiter now, you wanna make sure that here it's saying external side chain and it is because we're sending to it. And it's just a case then of setting up the compressor so that it, it works uh, when the, the speech drops it. And you may wanna do a bit of changes first. So let's get this back to default where it would be when you get it out and you plug it in. Let's have a listen to it first without the vocal doing much to it. Thank you. Right, don't forget to check out the six UAD plugins I use. You can see straight away it's not doing much ducking. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put it to 20 to 1 ratio, which means it's what we call brick wall now. So it won't go past anything that the threshold set. So let's listen to that now. Thank you. Right, don't forget to check. But at the moment, again, still the side chain is not doing much. So what we're going to do is bring the threshold down a bit more. Check out the six UAD plugins I use all the time and are worth checking out. is my latest article about UAD. I started to do something. Now there's this nice side chain button here and if we change the side gain, we push that up more to about, about three or four dB. It's also got lots of comments by other people who have their favorites. You can hear it working now. It's just a case then of tailoring it to work so it sounds as natural as possible. Thank you. Right, don't forget to check out the six UAD plugins I use all the time and are worth checking out. I'm going to keep pushing that up really hard now, show you it working really hard. Is my latest article about UAD plugins. It's also got lots of comments by other people who have their favourites. Now the last thing you want to do is the attack and the release. Now the attack is at 15 milliseconds, so it means it takes 15 milliseconds when the voice starts speaking for it to drop. So if you want this to happen really fast, you'd bring that right down so it's immediate. Thank you. Right, don't forget to check out the six UAD plugins I use all the time. and and the release as well, if we change that down, you'll hear it come in and out very fast. It'll be in fast. Thank you. Right, don't forget to check out the six UAD plugins I use all the time and are worth checking out. But you can hear pumping going on now. What I mean by that is every time there's a little gap when I'm speaking, it's going to keep coming in and out. So I'm going to push the release up. In fact, I like to make it quite long. So it's quite a natural kind of rise back in. So about one second. Let's hear that now. Thank you. Right, don't forget to check out the six UAD plugins I use all the time and are worth checking out. Try half a second. About there, let's try that. Of course, you could type those in. The plugins I use all the time and are worth checking out. That feels more natural. And now, if we take the side gain down again to about 5 dB, that should be somewhere near where we are. Thank you. Right, don't forget to check out the six UAD plugins I use all the time and are worth checking out. Do a little more attack as well. I'm just going to just drop a bit back about a millisecond about that. Last chance at listening to that. Thank you. Right, don't forget to check that out the six UAD plugins I use all the time and are worth checking out.
is my latest article about UAD plugins. It's also got lots of comments by other people who have their favorites. Okay, let's go back to the beginning now. Listen to both of it. Let's hear it first without that working. Thank you. Right, don't forget to check out the six UAD plugins I use all the time and they're worth checking out. Let's put it back in again now. Is my latest article about UAD plugins. It's also got lots of comments by other people who have their favourites. So there we are. If you're working with speech and you've got music beds under it, then that is a really cool trick so that you don't have to go through and do lots and lots of manual automation. You might prefer doing it with automation or you might prefer this way. Both of them are possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.